Thank you everyone for coming to our research presentation today. Today's presentation is about the latest research results of three Japanese butterflies whose names include purple by the researchers you see. These studies have been conducted since 2019. First of all, we will start with the topic of Saisakia charonda nymphalidae butterfly. Some animals have special odorants to protect themselves. Among the butterflies, defensive tongue-like organ known as the osmaterium of the papillionidae butterfly larvae on the back of their head are well known. The substances secreted by this organ are thought to be effective against their natural enemies, ants, bees, and spiders. In fact, Honda K. Ichi had shown that the substances secreted from here are effective against genus Myrmica ants. Similar results were obtained from experiments with Papillionidae osmaterium components in the region using ants from the North American continent. These substances were compiled in Omura's 2006 paper, including the results of research on swallowtail butterflies other than those produced in Japan. Furthermore, Hirose showed that the osmaterium components of the swallowtail were effective against polyestes wasps. They show that these substances are classified into fatty acids and their esters, monoterpenes with 10 carbons, and sesquiterpenes with 15 carbons. Meanwhile, Smidley et al. had shown that European Pyrus rapae larvae also have protective substances. This substance is a group of compounds called maolenes produced from 11-hydroxylinolenic acid. It is removed from the body through the secretory hair on the body of the larva. The study also showed that these substances act as protective substances because they induce a repellent response to genus Myrmica ants. However, these substances did not seem to be known from the Nymphalidae butterflies larva. In these conditions, Hayashi Taro inherited the technique of breeding the Saisakia charonda which was completed by Akiyama Shouji, who started breeding the Seisakia Charonda in Kashihara City, Nara Prefecture in 1980, and has been breeding the Seisakia Charonda in the net chamber since 2012. Seisakia Charonda is the largest nymphalidae butterfly in Japan and the temperate regions to the west of it, and many people have a special interest in it. Hayashi wanted to deepen his interest in creatures and the environment through the breeding of Seisakia Charonda. As Hayashi continued to do this, he began to feel that the Seisakia Charonda larvae were giving off some kind of halitosis. Hayashi often grabbed the larvae of the Seisakia Charonda and moved them from the depleted Celtis sinensis branch to the fresh-leaved Celtis sinensis branch. At this time, the larva raises its head opens its mandible wide and shows an action that threatens the enemy, and at the same time opens and closes its mandible and makes a clicking sound, actually biting Hayashi's fingers and enemies. It was at this time that Hayashi realized that the Seisakia charonda larvae might be smelling something from their mandible. Hayashi, through his acquaintance, shared this observation in Ue Takashi, who already has a track record in scent analysis of plants and butterflies. Inu immediately recognized this importance upon receiving this information, and contacted the analyst of Hitachi KCI Techno Service, who had been communicating with him, to launch a research posture. In the experiment, the type of odorant is first identified by chemical analysis, and if possible, a nest is created in the net chamber of the Seisakia Charonda. We decided to investigate the effect of the detected substance on ants. First, we will explain how to collect halitosis substances from the larvae of Seisakia charonda. This time, as in the case when Anu collected papilio butterflies and plant components before, the halitosis substances were collected into sampling tubes, and the collected substances were introduced into gas chromatogram mass spectrometer by the dynamic headspace method and the thermal desorption method, and the substances were separated and identified. First, Connect the prepared scent sampling tube to the air pump so that air can be sucked into the collection tube. Next, pinch the back of the body of the last instar larva of the Seisakia charonda with our finger, and when the larva opens its mandible wide and begins to emit the halitosis, put the collection tube on the larva's mouth and the halitosis will be inhaled into the sampling tube. The sampling time from one individual was set to 15 seconds, and the halitosis from 10 larvae was collected in one sampling tube. At this time, the scent of the surface of the leaves of Celtis sinensis was also collected for control. 
let me show you a graph of the analysis results. As you can see, we were able to detect 22 compounds and estimate 20 of them. Of these compounds, reagents 1 to 5, 7 to 9, 11 to 15 and 17, 19 and 20 with strong signal strength were commercially available. So we compare these compounds with the analysis results of the reagents to determine whether the estimation is correct. As a result, it was confirmed that 11 substances other than 17 and 20 were correctly estimated, but for 17 and 20, the gas chromatograph results did not match the reagent results, and the estimation was incorrect. In addition, it was confirmed that 1 and 4, which were considered to be the same substance, were correctly estimated because the reagent data and the gas chromatograph result for 4 were in agreement. On the other hand, the results of mass spectrometry of 1, 17 and 20 were in good agreement with the results of the reagents, indicating that the basic structure could be estimated correctly. Therefore, these materials were considered to be structural isomers of the presumed material. In the subsequent examination, 1, 17 and 20 were removed. Similarly, 13 and 14, which were determined to be the same substance, had three stereoisomers in the estimated 2,3 butane diol, and the reagents used in the experiment is a mixture of these. And the results of these gas chromatographs was in agreement with the sample results, confirming that these peaks were estimated accurately. Looking at the 11 types of substances that could be confirmed this time by nature, there were eight types of alcohol, three types of aldehyde or ketone and one type of substance having both alcohol and ketone properties. Next, by major structure, there were seven types of substances without branching structures and four types of substances with double bonds. And there was one type of substance with a cyclic structure. In terms of total carbon number, five compounds were the most in seven types, followed by four types in four. Almost no of these substances were detected in samples taken from the surface of the Celtis sinensis leaves, and almost all of them were thought to be due to biosynthesis in the larvae. Also comparing these compounds with the components of the osmaterium of the Papilio butterflies introduced earlier, it was found that there was no common component and the composition was completely different. Butterflies with these ingredients appear to have never been reported, and we believe the results are very important. Next. We investigated the reaction of ants in the breeding net room of the Seisakia charonda to these substances. The results show that even for the same species of ants, there are significant differences in response depending on the population. However, among these, a relatively stable reaction was shown for 2-butanol, 1-pentan-3-ol and 3-pentanun. The Seisakia charonda larva counterattacks the enemy with a pair of horns on its head and it seems that this halitosis is also buying for such a counterattack. In addition, during this halitosis collection process, Hayashi noticed that the action of releasing halitosis spreads to other larvae. Therefore, we also examined whether these substances are effective against the Seisakia charonda larvae. As a result, it did not show such a reaction to just wind and six of the eleven reagents prepared, but for the remaining five reagents, it was a warning action to lift the front of the body. Substances that induce such alert behavior are known as alarm pheromones in insects other than butterflies. But it seems that this is the first time that substances with such functions have been detected in butterflies. Regarding the halitosis reception of ants, research on the reception of substances contained in body surface hydrocarbons to confirm whether they are members of the same nest is being actively conducted. On the other hand, for butterfly and moth larvae, research on the scent of plants has been mainly conducted. Our findings show that butterfly larvae may also be aware of substances other than plant scents, and we believe this discovery is significant in this respect as well. Here we will explain the outline of the mass spectrometry method used in this experiment. All substances are composed of atoms, which are the smallest units of matter, or molecules made up of several atoms. An atom or molecule is composed of a positively charged nucleus and a negatively charged electron, but usually the total charge of the nucleus and the total charge of the electron are the same. So the total charge is zero. When an accelerated electron hits this molecule, 
the electron is knocked out electrons those were included in molecule and the molecule becomes positively charged. Furthermore, some of the molecules that have become unstable due to lack of electrons are decomposed, but the method of decomposition is determined by the type of molecule. So if you can know how it broke pattern, we can estimate the original structure of these compounds. To verify this breaking pattern, we make to pass the original molecule and broken debris through a magnetic field and see how far each molecule and debris flew. This distance is determined by the mass of the molecule or debris and the charge they carry. This information is collected in a database, and the estimation of the substances contained in this sample was also performed by comparing it with this database. In addition to the Seisakia charonda, other three Apaturini subfamily species are distributed in Japan. These butterfly larvae are very similar, of these, Hestina persimilis and Hestina acemiles eat the same Celtis sinensis as Seisakia charonda, but Apatura metis eats Salix plant leaves. Holikawa noticed that the larvae of the Hestina persimilis and the continent of Hestina acemiles had a halitosis similar to that of the Seisakia charonda. Therefore, we decided to analyze the presence or absence of halitosis and its components in these three species as well. First of all, it is the result of Hestina persimilis and Hestina acemiles those also eat Celtis sinensis as Seisakia charonda. Similar to Seisakia charonda, these two species have outstanding signal intensities of 2-butanol and 2-methyl-3-butene-2-ol. On the other hand, the presence and amounts of other components differ depending on the species. And the general tendency is that the components of Hestina persimilis and Hestina acemiles less than those of Seisakia charonda, but the edulin type that appears after 36 minutes. This compound is prominent in Hestina acemiles and Hestina persimilis, and is thought to have characteristics depending on the genus and species. In contrast, the components of Apatura metis, which eats Salix species, are less than those of the previous three species, and the conspicuous components are 2-butanol, which was also found in the previous three species, and benzaldehyde, which has a cyclic structure found only in this species. As mentioned above, the only component commonly obtained from the four species was 2-butanol, but this substance has been confirmed to be effective against ants. And this plays a leading role in the defense of these four species of butterfly larvae. Furthermore, as with the Seisakia charonda larvae, the reactions of the three larvae to the various samples that could be detected this time were investigated. First is the result of Hestina acemiles. The results were almost the same as those of the Seisakia charonda larva, but some substances had different results. Next is the result of the Hestina persimilis. Although there are some differences, the results are generally similar to the previous two types. Additionally, the results of the Apatura metis were similar to those of the previous three species. Of these results, all four species of larvae showed a certain degree of reaction to the 2,3-butane dione, 1-penton-3-ol, 2-methyl-1-butanol, 3-methyl-2-butanol. It suggests that these substances act as warning substances for these larvae. Furthermore, Anu observed that the larvae of the Hestina acemiles repel the attack of polyestes chinensis in the field. Other researchers have also confirmed that Hestina persimilis larvae similarly repel attacks by polyestes wasps. Therefore, we decided to check whether the bad breath emitted by the larvae is also effective for polyestes wasps. As a result, we were able to confirm that polyestes wasps, like ants, also showed a negative reaction to some halitosis substances. In particular, 2,3-butane dione is highly likely to be a warning substance for larvae, as mentioned earlier. And we believe that it is safe to assume that this substance acts as the main component of halitosis. Furthermore, among the substances that could be detected from the three larvae other than the Seisakia charonda, we also investigated the reactions of the Apaturini larvae, ants, and polyestes wasps to six of the substances for which reagents were commercially available. As the results, these substances showed no significant reaction to larvae and ants. On the other hand, polyestes wasps respond to components contained in the scent of flowers, and this is thought to be by a mechanism different from the response to alarm substances. In addition, Hayashi showed that this halitosis attack may also be effective against small spiders.
In addition, as far as we have observed, such counter-attack behavior of larvae was mainly observed in resting larvae, and not so much in eating or moving larvae. Therefore, we hypothesized that this behavior was observed when the larvae were on high alertness. In this study, we were able to obtain the cooperation of several butterfly breeding facilities in order to secure the number of specimens of the larvae of Saisakia charanda, the larvae of Apatura metis, and the ants. This research could be published as a treatise in the journal you are viewing.